This presentation looks at visual art in the Renaissance and Baroque periods. As we look, think about using the lens of environment. In other words, how does the big idea of environment tie the many pieces of familiar artwork from Renaissance period and Baroque period together? It may be helpful to consider a few questions before we begin. For example, what does environment mean? What is the purpose of the varied environments we are acquainted with? Religious, secular, city, state, community, home, countries. Can you find evidence of the environment influencing art today? Do you feel like you were affected by the environment? Keep these questions in mind as we think about our ancestors during the 15th through 18th centuries. The Renaissance. In the early 1400s, the Renaissance period began. Renaissance or rebirth began in Florence, Italy and spread to Rome, Venice, and the rest of Europe. Common elements were the rediscovery of art and literature from the art environments and the influences from Greece and Rome. The study of the body and the study of the natural world environment were widely used in paintings. In Masaccio's painting, The Tribute Money, he represents the environmental images using perspective, or linear perspective, which created objects receding in the distance. Botticelli's Birth of Venus was influenced by the Byzantine culture of art. It also had a natural, decorative, linear style to which was indicative of Renaissance period. Donatello's David was carved to look more realistic and classical in nature. He was influenced by the Greek and Roman sculptures done through their environment. Italian Renaissance in the 16th century, Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Raphael created sculpture and paintings with technical mastery. Artists during this period were being commissioned to reproduce or produce works of art. Leonardo was commissioned by Dominican friars to paint the Last Supper for their dining hall environment. Here Leonardo portrays the tradition accepted by Catholics who believe that the communion bread and wine are the body and blood of Christ. In preparation for his work, the Mona Lisa, Leonardo visits the hospital environment to study cadavers to prepare him to paint her anatomically correct. Michelangelo's Pieta was a beautiful sculpture he created of the Virgin Mary and of Christ. Again, many works of art drew their inspiration from religious environments, themes from the Bible. We also find this true in the following art pieces. The Creation of Adam by Michelangelo, School of Athens by Raphael, and the Posse Chapel by Brunelleschi. Renaissance in the Low Countries. The artist in the Low Countries in Northern Europe had an incredible ability to portray natural environment realistically down to the most minute detail. Van Eyck's Arnolfini wedding recreated the marriage scene in miniature in the mirror. Roy Gale, Hunters in the Snow, portrayed peasants both honestly and satirically. Bosch's The Garden of Earthly Delights warned against the dangers of eroticism. Germany's own high renaissance was influenced by works of art centered around religious topics. Dürer was a graphic artist who created woodcut Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. And he created an engraving titled Saint Jerome. Dürer was influenced by work from Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Raphael. Mannerism and the Late Renaissance. Late Renaissance or Mannerist 
artists demanded realism based on observation of nature. Their compositions were oblique with a void in the center and figures were crowded around in their work. Artist Tintoretto's The Last Supper displayed obvious mannerist traits like plunging diagonal perspective, making the picture seem off balance. Baroque, the Ornate Age. The Baroque era, 1600-1750, was the most sumptuous and ornate in the history of art. It produced the artistic geniuses Rembrandt and Velasquez. It expanded the role of art into everyday life. Catholic popes financed grand works to display in their church cathedrals. Palaces became enchanted environments to impress visitors. Artist Tiepolo's ceiling fresco, titled Apollo Conducts the Bride, Beatrice, to Barbarossa of Burgundy, depicts gods and heroes floating heavenward. Italian Baroque Three artists best represent Italian Baroque. They are the painter Caravaggio, the sculptor Bernini, and the architect Borromini. Caravaggio secularized religious art, making saints and miracles seem like ordinary people. Caravaggio's The Conversion of St. Paul, circa 1601, is criticized for portraying holy figures as common people. The Ecstasy of St. Teresa was Bernini's masterpiece. He fused sculpture, painting, and architecture in a total environment designed to overwhelm the emotions. Bernini was the greatest sculptor in the Baroque period. The Roman environment is marked by his fountains, religious art, and designs he created for St. Peter's Cathedral environment. Flemish Baroque the southern Netherlands, called Flanders, remained Catholic after the Ref Reformation. This gave artists an incentive to produce religious paintings. Again, we see the religious environment through Bible stories being at the center of artist work during the Baroque era. One incredible Baroque artist was Reuben, 1577-1640. He was a genius. He created more than 2,000 paintings. One religious painting he created was The Descent from the Cross. This painting was full of Baroque curves and had dramatic lighting. Another work by Reuben was Mary Arrives at Marseilles. He painted the arrival of the French Queen as a sensory extravaganza, spilling over with color and opulence in his work. Another Baroque artist was Van Dyck. He was a painter of portraits. He transformed the frosty official images of royalty into real human beings. Van Dyck's painting, Charles I at the Hunt, is a flattering portrait painting of elegant aristocrats. The environment which surrounded these aristocrats was one of refinement. Van Dyck captured this in his portraits of them. Dutch Baroque. Dutch art flourished from 1660 to 1670. Three great masters emerged during this period. They were Howes, Rembrandt, and Vermeer. Howes' trademark was portraits of men and women caught in a moment of frolicking high spirits. His painting, The Jolly Topper, used fluid brush strokes to capture a merry tippler. Artist Vermeer was known as the master painter of light. Vermeer's painting, The Kitchen Maid, displayed his subject with light and showed its effect on color and form. Rembrandt was a successful artist in the areas of portraiture, etching, and painting lavish scenes. His painting, The Night Watch, is one of the world's greatest masterpieces. Rembrandt's Self-Portrait, 1660, is a painting done when he was 54 years old. 
he focuses on inner the inner man himself for this work of art Rembrandt is probably the best known painter in the Western world English Baroque English art was limited almost exclusively to portraits England had three important native artists Hogarth, Gainsborough, and Reynolds. Hogarth invented a new genre which was the comic strip. It poked fun at the baubles of the day. He drew his ideas from the environments of the idle aristocracy and the drunken working class. Hogarth's painting The Breakfast Scene from Marriage a la Mode displays a satirical picture poking fun at English society. Gainsborough was a broke artist that painted portraits which included natural landscape environments in the background. Gainsborough's painting titled Miss Richards Bainsley Sheridan is a portrait of her posed informally with a landscape background. Reynolds, another artist of this period, was influenced by the Rome environment. He littered his portraits with Roman relics and noble poses. Reynolds' painting, Jane, Countess of Harrington, is an idealized portrait of the Countess. Spanish Baroque Spain's gift to the world of art was artist Velazquez. He became the country's most esteemed painter and would spend more than 30 years portraying the environment of royal courts. Velasquez's painting, Las Maneas, created forms through color and light rather than through lines. Prominent artists influenced by him were Whistler, Sargent, Manet, and Goya. French Baroque in the 17th century, the most famous French painter was Nicolas Poussin. He based his paintings on environmental scenes from Roman history, Greek sculptures, and ancient myths. His paintings reflected battles, heroic actions, and religious themes. Poussin's painting, Burial of Poussin, was done in this manner. The pinnacle of Baroque opulence was the magnificent Chateau of Versailles. It was a tribute to King Louis XIV. He wanted his palace environment designed to impress visitors. Artists Lebrun and Hardwin Mansart created the Hall of Mirrors at Versailles circa 1680. This hall was a 240 foot long gallery lined with silver furniture and had 17 floor to ceiling windows and mirrors. Rococo Rococo art was born in Paris in the early 1700s. Rococo was primarily a form of interior decoration. Clothing, silverwork, china, and even carriages were overwrought with curfews as well as flowers, scrolls, shells and leaves. Rococo art was as decorative and non-functional as the aristocracy who embraced it and wanted this type of lavish artwork for their ornate townhouse environments. Noted artists during this period were Watu, his painting Pilgrimage to Scythera, idealized fantasy landscapes inhabited by aristocrats engaged in flirtation. Kerbils in his mirror room is the best example of a Rococo interior. Gandhi, his Casa Mila, is an apartment house he built. His work incorporated sinuous Rococo curves. Linear Perspective Art Activity Perspective strategies were used and developed during the Renaissance period. The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci is an oil painting which illustrates Christ with his disciples taking communion. 
It was painted to be placed in the dining hall of the monastery of Santa Maria della Grazia. Religious environments yielded many Bible stories which were utilized at this time for artistic works. Leonardo utilized perspective drawings skills in the masterpiece The Last Supper. Today we are going to draw a common sight we see in our community environment utilizing plenary perspective skills when we draw it. We will be drawing railroad tracks, telephone, telegraph poles, and a road.